Good morning, modern steaders. They were calling for about an inch of snow yesterday. We got three to four inches. Tomorrow they're calling for six to ten inches here in northern New Hampshire. I hope we don't get quadruple the amount like we did yesterday. That would not be good. Good morning, ladies. You girls hungry? Better clean off some of the snow. There. We ended up getting the kit in the mail the other day so we can test Tanner and send that in to see if he has the MDR1 gene. Wow, that was moose. I didn't know what that noise was for a second. So we're gonna test when Ginny gets home from work tonight. We'll take that kit out and we'll see what we gotta do and we'll get that swab mailed back in. And then I think it takes about two weeks to get the test back from the lab in Washington State. Looks like Figaro already came down and checked on the goats. Good morning, girls. Look, we got more snow. Girls ready for some feed? Let's go. There you go, girl. Burr, I should have worn my scarf this morning. It's four degrees out right now. I am looking forward to some warmer weather. It's been a long, cold winter so far. January's just about over. We're getting there. Daylight hours are gaining. That means the temperatures will start warming up soon. Well, I was just about dried up. I'm gonna miss milking in the morning. Ready for some hay? Come on. They've done a good job eating this tree. Oop. Most of the needles are off of it. We'll throw it out of the pen. I think it's amazing how good they do taking the bark off too. There. You coming out now? Saying, where's Willow? You're slow lately. Watch out. Enjoy your hay. You ready to go to New York City? We haven't seen, I don't want to say green grass, but we just haven't seen any grass since like the first or second week in November. <sighs> Once the snow melts, even if it just melts and we get snow again, I'm gonna be so happy to see grass or mud. It's been such a long time since we've seen the ground. I miss it. It's gonna be a good spring, guys. It's gonna be a good spring. Moose is quiet this morning. I bet you they would love 
for all the snow to melt so they can come out of the chicken coop. They'll probably get New York City fever before we know it. Your lady's getting New York City fever. No, you look pretty content. I gotta be careful not to stomp on this rubber bucket too bad with my nasty ice picks on. I don't want to puncture the bucket. That would not be good. Girls hungry? Did you just lay that egg? I wonder how warm it is. Nope, she must be getting ready to lay an egg and we disturbed her. That one's lukewarm, not freshly laid. It was kind of funny this year, we had a white Thanksgiving. I've never had a white Thanksgiving before. And we almost had a muddy, muddy Christmas, but we never lost all the snow completely. We still had, I don't know, probably six inches, but it was all ice. So if we can lose it all once during the winter, I wouldn't mind that. You got cold feet, Pluto? Is that thing we need uh, right there it is right here I think that's the one we're looking for oh, perfect not quite sure what happened the other day but the goats broke their hay feeder we need to make a new slat for them today Get the angle marked out here. All right, we gotta go back outside for a minute. Ever since I checked the temperature of the eggs the other day to see how cold they were, I've been curious to know what's the temperature of an egg after it's freshly laid. So I'm wondering if that chicken laid her egg yet. We just went inside, dropped the egg off, grab that, I don't know, we've probably been inside away from the coop five, 10 minutes, so I'm thinking there should be another egg laid. Let's see. Did you lay that egg, honey? Nope, no egg yet. Man. All right, we'll have to try again. I'll make a good little workbench for a minute. Don't try that at home. Maybe if I pre-drill this one, it'll last longer. Then on the bottom side, you need to go this way. And my drill. Last night I was able to get Tana to give me five. He did it, I don't know, about 10 times in a row. Then he stopped, I lost concentration. I haven't been able to get him to do it again. But I was pretty impressed with that. He's what, 10 weeks old? Not even? <sighs> I'm getting him to do some pretty neat tricks, so 
That encourages me and I'm excited to see what we'll be able to teach him. I gotta fix your hay feeder. Yeah, you broke it. You broke your hay feeder. I am assuming that snow fell off the roof and somebody had their head in there and they got scared and broke it off. Might as well get another screw first. Yep. That ain't gonna work. Let's see if this is gonna work. Oh yeah, that'll work perfect. That worked. Be right back, I gotta get you a new screw. And you need some more goat minerals. Figaro, are you teasing them? You're saying, ha, 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 I'm out here and you're not. I think we got some screws right here. Perfect. Got their goat mineral right there. Now we need to get some seaweed or kelp meal, whatever you'd like to call it. This is the brand we have. I believe they're out of Maine. I found it online. You girls want some seaweed? They're all over it. Like, yes, please, give me some seaweed. Give them some goat minerals. Don't chew the bag on me, no. Hey, you want some of that willow? No, they like the seaweed, that's for sure. I need my bucket back, I need my bucket. I'll put a new one in. Ah, just like the day we made it. Now we don't gotta worry about Buttercup getting back in there and pooping all over the hay. There's nothing in the bucket. You got it all. Yeah, you got it all. Good girl. Oh, I hope that's a baby bump, Willow. I'm curious if that chicken laid her egg yet. And if she did, I'm hoping she just laid it because I want to see how warm a freshly laid egg is. <laughs> There's two eggs in here. Let's see. So that one's been probably sitting here for a little while. About this one. Both the same. 49. Oh, that's a fresher one. 58. It's just lukewarm and lukewarm. I just checked out here five minutes ago and there wasn't an egg, so these are only five minutes old and they've cooled off quite a bit. <sighs> I wonder how we'll have to gauge that so we can see how hot a fresh laid egg is. If you have any ideas for me to figure out how to get to the chicken coop when there's a fresh laid egg out there, leave it in the comments down below. I wanna find out how warm is a fresh laid egg. I feel like I'm starting to come down with something. So tonight I'm gonna make a roasted chicken and that way after dinner I can make a nice chicken broth and tomorrow we can have a delicious soup. So we'll try
chop up some potatoes and carrots to go with our roasted chicken. It's one of the nice things about raising your own meat birds is a lot of the times we always have whole chickens in our freezer. One of the new things I like doing, and it's aesthetically pleasing than anything, is I like taking the wings and just tucking them underneath. It just looks a little prettier. I don't know. One of them things, I greased my pan last time I did it, and it took quite a bit to scrub it, so I put some cooking spray on it this time. Put our potatoes down, some carrots. You know what, let's chop up an onion and we'll mince up some garlic. We'll give the chicken a little bit more flavor. I melted some butter. I'm gonna pour that right on top of the bird and some of the vegetables. I really am liking this garlic mincer. Oh, that sun feels so good. Watch out. Well, you can't stop right in the doorway. Oh, that sun right there. Man, that feels nice. Bet you girls are liking that sun today, huh? Where'd that come from, huh? Here, Libby's, why don't you give them the hay? Okay. Oh, man. How did Buttercup get in there? I don't know. I fixed it. Buttercup, how'd you get in? I fixed it. Crazy goat. Where'd you get in? <laughs> you didn't see how she got in, Libby's? No. <sighs> she was already in. She was right here, and then she was like scratching at the bottom of the head. Huh. Maybe, maybe she'll be stuck in there. We'll have to get her out tonight. I have no idea how she got in because I fixed the slat earlier. No clue. But I saw Willow do a tail flick. But I haven't seen it again, so hopefully she's not in heat. I hope you're not in heat, Willow. That would not be good. Go to New York City, Pluto. Go. Get out your energy. She keeps losing traction. Nope, come on. There you go. Come on. 
She's looking for the cat. Boom. All right, let's see how many eggs today. Make sure there's not any hiding in any of the wood chips. None. Nope. Nope, none hiding in there. So we have these two. Awesome. Thank you, ladies. You enjoying the sun in the window? We got the paperwork to test Tanner for MDR1. Let's see what comes in here, because I'm not sure. You got like a little kit to swab. Use two brushes provided. Got all his information on the swabs. Pull them out. Not yet. And now we got to test your DNA. We're gonna go in on your cheek. Can you do something? Yeah, just hold them and twirl the brush around like you're brushing his teeth. There we go. I think that was a good one. There we go. Good boy. I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. What'd they say? 20 minutes or so? That skin looks so delicious. Pretty interesting to be doing one of those DNA swabs. Makes me think of what was that show? CSI or CSI Miami? <laughs> uh, like a crime scene analyst. So, still don't know how Buttercup was getting in and out of that hay feeder. Maybe we'll figure that out. Maybe that mystery will remain. But, hope you guys are having a great winter. I know I'm looking forward to spring and building our new barn and getting in the garden. I know there's some of you that are able to plant before we are and I bet you you're itching for that what's a couple of things that you're looking forward to about springtime thanks for coming along on our journey with us you guys are a true blessing to our family we hope that in one way or another we can bless your family in return so thanks for watching and we'll see you guys right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres a guide to modern homesteading self-sufficiency and freedom